All right, hey guys, uh, this video is going to be going over um, how we can apply the Pythagorean theorem, which we know already, um, in the coordinate plane. So basically on a graph. So here's what you're gonna be able to do by the end of today. So I wanna know if I give you two points on a graph, can you find out how long this is? Like without measuring with a ruler, is there another way I can find out how long that line is? Now it would be super easy if it was like here to here, right? Cause I could just count that segment and I could say, okay, that's, that's three long. It's super easy if it's that way, okay? Or if it was going from this blue point to this point, again, super easy if it's that way, okay? But what if it's diagonal? That's what we're gonna learn how to do today. All right, so our learning goal here is what it is. It says, I can apply the Pythagorean theorem. So first of all, you guys know the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, and remember, you can use this for right triangles only. Okay, so we're going to use that Pythagorean theorem to find the lengths of different line segments in the coordinate plane. So basically, if I'm on a graph, I'm going to be able to find out the length of like a line segment like that, including line segments that are part of a, a composite figure. Basically, that just means if I give you kind of a shape here, you're going to be able to find the length of all the different sides. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's get started. So a type of problem that you're gonna see um, during this lesson is you're going to have to graph a couple points. So I'm just gonna do a quick refresher. Remember, this is a X coordinate, this is a Y coordinate, X coordinate, Y coordinate. So if I am graphing the first one, I'll just show you with my mouse first. I'm going to go on the X axis over negative two and then down one, two, three, four. So I need to put a point right there. This other one, I'm gonna go over four, one, two, three, four, and then down one. So I'm gonna end up with a point right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. And all right, and I'm going to connect those. If I had a ruler, I would be able to use it, but I don't. So I'm gonna connect those two points and I wanna know, well, how long is that line segment? Okay, well, it's kind of hard to do without a ruler, but there's another way that I can find that. And it's using the Pythagorean theorem. So I want you to pause the video for a second and think what could I maybe do to use the Pythagorean theorem to help me solve this problem? Okay, so here's what you can do. Let's go ahead and try to make a triangle out of these points. So I am going to, it doesn't really matter where I make it. I could put a point right here, okay? Or I could put a point kind of right here, but I wanna be able to make two other straight line segments. So kind of watch what I did. So I'm gonna connect this point and this other black point, and then I'll do another color. And then I'm gonna connect these two points. And now I just made a right triangle. And you can see right here, there's the corner. So if we have a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find um, a missing side length. So now let's kind of think about what we know. If I look at the bottom, this black line down here, I can figure out how long that is. I can just count across. Okay, I'm gonna start right here. I'm just gonna count across. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is six long, I'm just six units long. I'm gonna label it with a six. Okay, then I'm gonna grab my pen and I'm gonna count from down here to up one, two, three. That is three units long. So I'm gonna come label a three right over here. Oops, didn't mean to grab a highlighter, but um, I'm gonna label that a three. Now, I do not know how long this, um, the hypotenuse is, right? This is called the hypotenuse. I'm gonna call that C. So now I have my right triangle. I can use the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm just gonna grab a different color. So I'm gonna fill in, I know um, my two legs are three and six, and I need to square both of them. So three squared plus six squared, that's my diagonal length or my hypotenuse squared. Okay, so if I work this out, three squared, three times three is nine, plus six squared is 36 equals C squared. Okay, so now you're gonna to wanna to add nine and 36. Nine plus 36 is 45 equals C squared. All right, your last step to solve a problem when you get here is you want to take the square root of both sides so you can undo the squaring. So the square root of that and then the square root of 45. So I end up with C is about, so you kind of have to estimate, the square root of 45. I'm gonna type that in on my calculator quick. I get about 6.7 if I round to the nearest tenth. This is the tenth spot. So this diagonal length right here is about 6.7 units long. All right, now you could have done this another way. So I want you to, I'm gonna just trace this in orange. If I gave you those points to start with, I could have put another point 
right up here to help me make a right triangle. Just kind of watch what I draw in orange. See how I just made a right triangle there? So you just have to be able to make a corner like this where it's connected with the two diagonals. So I could have used either of these. If you notice, if I count here, it's three long. And this is also six long. And then I would still want to find my hypotenuse. Okay, let's try one more quick. So this time I gave you two points on the graph. And I want us to find out, well, how, what is the distance between those two points? So I'm going to connect those. Now, I just wanted to mention, you guys, too, if you don't have graph paper at home, you can go into Notability and you can get a graph like this, um, or you could draw out your own, too, in your notebook. Okay, so now, I don't have a triangle here, obviously, but I can make this into a triangle. So I want this to be the diagonal of the triangle. So I need to figure out, well, where can I put another point to make this into a triangle? So let's kind of think, if I put a point here, that's not going to be very helpful. It's not a right triangle. If I put a point right here, Again, not a right triangle. It has to make a perfect corner. So can you kind of figure out where would you need to put that point? Okay, well, it's kind of if you follow, this is kind of what I do, and I'll erase this after. I kind of just make a line going through here. Okay, I'll just make a red line, and then a line going through this other point, and then it's kind of where they cross. So if you notice, it crosses right here. That's where I want the point to be. So I'm just going to erase those red lines quick. Sorry. Okay, so my point needs to go right here. All right, so now here's what I can do. I can draw in my triangle, and I'm going to count out how long it is going on both of my legs. So this one is one, two, three, looks like four long. This one, if I count going up, it is one, two, three, three long. Okay, and I do not know how long this side is, so I'll call it C. And again, this is the hypotenuse because it's across from the right angle. All right, so if I kind of set this up, I know since I have a right triangle, I can use the Pythagorean theorem. And I'm going to start by plugging in my two legs. One of them is 3 squared, plus the other one is 4. Add your squared equals C squared. All right, well, 3 squared, you guys should know that is 9, plus 4 squared is 16, equals C squared. Okay, if you add 16 and 9, you actually get 25 equals C squared. So what number squared is 25? Pretty easy. Take the square root of both sides. And you end up with C equals 5. Now that's an exact answer. So this length right here is 5, this diagonal. Now I might ask you another question. I might ask you, can you find me the perimeter of this triangle now? Okay, so perimeter just means going around the outside. So if I kind of think about it, it's 3 long, 4 long, and 5 long. So I'm just going to add 3 plus 4 plus 5. That would give me my perimeter. So I have... 4 and 5 is 9, plus 3 is 12, so my perimeter is 12 units long. So we just use the Pythagorean theorem to find out how long a line segment is. All right, we have one more question, and this is where we have a shape. So if you guys look at this, um, think to yourself, do you know what type of shape this is? It's actually a trapezoid. So if I want to find the perimeter of this shape, Mm, some of them, some of the sides are pretty easy. So I need to go all the way around the outside. So I can count this side here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six long. So pretty easy so far. I'll just label that six. Okay, I'm going to count across the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'll label that seven. Okay, then I'm going to count across the top. One, two, three, four, five. So that's five long. Okay, now what about this diagonal? Shoot, that's hard to count, right? So what you can do if you have a point connecting two line segments is can you make a right triangle somewhere? So watch this, I'm gonna grab a different color. I want you to think to yourself first, what do you think you could do to make this a right triangle? Okay, here's what I would do. You have two options. You could either, you can draw a segment right here or you could draw it on the outside here too. But now look at, if I, I'll just trace it in orange here. If I look at this, now I have a right triangle. Okay, here's my corner right here. So I can use, since I have a right triangle, I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this diagonal length. So going across, I can count this pretty easily. It's just too, too long right there, right? So I'll just draw it out down here for us. It's too long there. Going up, up and down, I'll count. It's start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, it looks like. 
six up, and I want to know what this length is. Okay, so, and again, it's a right triangle. So I'm going to do 2 squared plus 6 squared equals my hypotenuse squared, C squared. Okay, 2 squared is 4. 6 squared is 36 equals C squared. You can add those together, 36 and 4, that is 40 equals C squared. And then, you guys should be getting pretty good at this, you take the square root of both sides. Okay, so I'm going to type this in real quick. The square root of 40... is 6.3. So C is approximately 6.3. So this length right here, this whole big length here is 6.3. So now if I wanted to find the perimeter of this whole shape, I'm going to add all the way around the outside. So I'm going to add 5 and 6. That's 11. Plus 7 is 18. And then plus the 6.3. So 18 plus 6.3, if you guys can figure that out, would give me 24.3. So that would be my perimeter, which is right here. So 24.3 would be my perimeter. All right, so you guys now should be able to, if I give you a graph and two points on the graph, you should be able to find the length of those two points, that line segment right here, by drawing in a right triangle and then using the Pythagorean theorem. So that was your learning goal for today. If you have questions, please let one of your teachers know.